Hi guys, there have been an uproar in Lagos since how many weeks the politicians are using tribalism to, you know, fight between Igbos and Yorubas. Now, I, 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 as a journalist, we got to dig out some histories about Lagos, the true owners of Lagos. This one that uh, Yorubas want to chase out the Igbos from Lagos. We had to dig out some information about Lagos State. And we noticed that the Orb of Lagos in 2017, May 3rd, 2017, published the true owners of Lagos by Sheung Okbejobi. Read with me. Note first, the reason for this, uh, 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 what I call it, education, or educating you, is just to educate you, not to cause war, or cause conflict, or cause argument. Or for you to be educated, especially the Yorubas who have carried it in their head and said that Yorubas belongs to Lagos. Yoruba does not belong to Lagos. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is the first time I'm coming across the tank. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share, don't forget to like. Most importantly, like our videos because, according to YouTube and Facebook policy, the more you like our videos, the more they have recommended to other subscribers that have not yet subscribed to this channel. Work with me as I read from reliable source. The Oba of Lagos, Oba really one Akin Olu, has claimed that Lagos State is not part of Yoruba land. Akin Olu's statement is coming barely a week after he publicly humiliated the owner of Ife, Oba Adeyeye Ogunwusi, at an event. In a statement from Akiola's, Akiola's Palace, the monarch traced the historical background of the state and why it should not be regarded as part of Yoruba land. The statement reads, coming from the palace which uh, with what I was told by my late paternal grandmother, who is a descendant of Oba Ovaraun, Nobomasi, and also reading from factual historical book, let me share this knowledge with you all on a co Lagos. Modern day Lagos was founded by Prince Ado, the son of the Oba of Benin. Prince Ado was the first Oba of Lagos, the son of the Benin king. Prince Ado named the town Eko until the Portuguese explorer Rudi Segura changed the maritime town to Lagos, which at the time from 1942 was Portuguese expedition center down the African coast. It was a major center of the slave trade until 1851. Lagos was annexed by Britain via the Lagos Treaty of Session in 1861, ending the consular period and starting the British colonial period. The remainder of modern day Nigeria was seized in 1886 when the colony and protectorate of Nigeria was established in 1914. Lagos was declared its capital due to the struggle of the Bini king. Lagos experienced growth prior to the British colonial rule and even more rapid growth during the colonial rule. Throughout the 1960s, 70s, continued through the 80s and 90s to date, thanks to the Awaris, Benin, Yorubas, migrants across the nation and world at large, as no particular group of people can take the glory alone. Lagos is made up of lagoons and creeks. The Lagos Lagoons, the Lagos Lag Harbor, five Cown Creeks, Ebutemeta Creeks, Port, Porto Nova Creeks, New Canal, Badagri Creeks, Kuramo Waters, and Lighthouse Creeks. The Awaris and Benins are known to be the first settlers of the Eko land. The Awaris are speakers of a distinct dialect close to, the, close to that of the Yoruba language with a rich Benin mixture. Traditionally, Awari were found in Ilefe. They were known to be the Benins who followed their self exiled prince, the first son of the Oguso, now called Oba of Benin Kingdom, whose stepmother was after his head. The exiled Benin prince is Odua, known to the Yorubas as Odua, Odudua, was made ruler of the Ife people due to his powers and followers from the great Benin Kingdom. <laughs> Isodua, which is Odudua, was made the first king of Ilefe in 1230 AD. His followers from his father's kingdom in Benin are the today's Awori people who settled in Eko, now called Lagos. 
In the 30, 1300, the king of the Benin Empire heard from one of his traders who was a settler in Eko on how the Benins were treated by their warriors who lived in their area. Upon hearing this, the king of Benin commanded the assembling of a war expedition led by his son, Prince Ado, which headed the settlement of their worries and demanded explanation. On arrival, on arriving Oko, Prince Ado and his army were more than received. Their worries asked the Benin prince to stay and become their leader. Ado agreed on the condition that they surrender their sovereignty to the Oba of Benin, to which the people agreed. Hearing this, the king of Benin gave his permission for Prince Ado and the expedition to remain in Eko. The Oba of Benin sent some of his chiefs, including the Eletun Odibo, Oba Nikoro, and others to assist his son, Oba Ado, in the running of Eko. From the crown, crowning of Prince Ado, as the first Oba of Lagos, then called Eko, Lagos served as a major center for slave trade from which the Awaris, the Oba of Benin, and his son, the Oba of Lagos, and all and all the children and descendants who took over his successor, took over as his successor for over four centuries supported the trade. The Oba of Benin was the head of the Benin Empire, which are the present day western, southern and eastern modern day Nigeria. The king never obliged anyone to speak the Benin language as he believed everyone was entitled to their own choice of language. The name Eko was given was given to it by the first king of Lagos, Obado, the young and vibrant prince from Benin. Eko was a land now known as Lagos Island, where the king palace was built. The palace is called Ido Garan, meaning palace built on Pepe Farm. Obado and the warriors from Benin together with the, with the early Benin settlers in Eko and their warrior people settled in the southern part of Eko called Isale Eko. Isale literally means bottom, must have not been used to indicate downtown, as in downtown Lagos. Until the coming in, in uh, until the coming in of the Benin's 1300 AD, Lagos geographical boundary was Lagos mainland, Lagos Island. The seat of the Oba of Lagos then consisted of a pepe farm and teaching post. No one was living there. About 1450 AD, some Yorubas who held from Mishari, from Mishari in Ogun State and Ekiti were allowed by the king to settle in Eko. During a the war, they came in a very large number, thereby surpassing the number of their warriors and Benins. Hence, Yorubas claimed to own Eko due to their numbers. Oba Ado fell in love with a beautiful woman whose father was a wuri and mother a, do a daughter to one of the chiefs. They had two sons and also a daughter, Erule Kuti, who begot Ol Ologun Kutere, who later became king. I give out this information for you people to understand that the true owners and the first dwellers of Lagos were the Benin people. Ado, King Ado was the first king of Lagos. So quit all this argument. Now that you have the Igbos there, the Yorubas there, the Benin, you see, stop claiming what is not yours, but just have this information. Peace out.